Hey guys, hope you're all doing great. We're gonna talk about Ragnarok. Yes, everybody, this is a Ragnarok episode. Anyways, uh, he's at 266, and he's ready to be sold off. Ragnarok, definitely don't want to bonus him anymore. Ragnarok might actually be the worst three-star character. Like, serious one, not like a joke character like Howard the Duck or Bagman. I know those aren't three-star characters, but I'm just using them as an example. I'm not quite sure what Ragnarok is supposed to be. Well, I know he's like a clone of Thor, literally, but in Puzzle Quest, he's just a terrible, terrible character. Um, interesting tidbit, though, if history is correct, or if what I've heard is correct, he actually used to be good at one point. Um, I'll explain as we go through his powers on what, at least I've heard, was what the old Ragnarok used to be. Anyways, he has a lot of health, though. I guess that's one thing. So he has 17,000 health, so he's definitely above the normal 3-star character. He is a green, red, blue, which is a little bit different than the regular Thor build, which is a green, red, yellow. His three powers, godlike power, thunderclap, lightning rod. So first is godlike power. It's 14. That's definitely pretty expensive. Uh, way, a bit more than 12, you're gonna have to make another match, and yeah, it's not worth it. Ragnarok slams his hammer down, releasing a wave of electricity that scars the battlefield, deals 1291 damage to all enemies, and 535 to allies, destroys a random column, does not generate AP. That's three covers, five covers. Uh, 14 green, Ragnarok slams his hammer down, blah 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 blah, deals 2804 damage to all enemies, 535 to allies, again, doesn't, uh, destroys random calm, doesn't generate AP. So, it's expensive, it doesn't do a lot of damage, it also damages your team, doesn't generate AP. Sucks. It, it just sucks. I mean, uh, Thor's green is way better, does more damage, doesn't damage your own party, and even though um, it doesn't destroy a column, uh, you know, that doesn't really matter because it's just better. So, godlike power is surprising because it also has minuses and it's just, it's just not very good. Thunderclap, it's red, it's a six. Ragnarok gathers dark clouds and calls down a bolt of lightning, adds three blue tiles to the board, then deals 1156 damage for three covers. Uh, it turns out to be 4 blue tiles and 1669 damage with 5 covers. So, I guess if there's one thing about this power, it's cheap. Again, it doesn't really do a lot of damage. Uh, even at 5 covers, it's, it's not much. I guess the bonus would be that it adds blue tiles to the board, but... Um, yeah. Unless you actually have a better character that uses blue, it's not great. Um... Last power, Lightning Rod. It's 8, it's blue. Ragnarok curls his hammer into the thunder clouds where it absorbs the power of the storm, creates two green charge tiles. Catching the hammer charges the cyborg with electricity, giving him a burst of 1452 health. That's three covers at five covers. It's three green charge tiles and a burst of 2159 health. So, cost 8, not totally cheap. Creates green charge tiles, that's okay. And then it gives him a burst of health. Not true health, but just a burst. And it's really not all that much health, too. So it's it's a pretty underwhelming power. Again, green is there for him to use godlike power, which really kind of sucks in itself. So there's just not really anything all that redeeming about this character. Now, from what I heard, the old build of Ragnarok from before I played, so I don't personally know, was that his red also created green. So his red and his blue created green, and that went to godlike power. I'm not quite sure if godlike power was actually stronger, but uh, from reading really old posts on the old uh, MPQ wiki, uh, people used to talk a lot about Ragnarok being pretty no a pretty okay character, so I think what might have happened is they just nerfed the hell out of him, and he just hasn't really done anything since. So... Alright, I guess that being the case, let's fight with this guy. 
Uh, I don't really know any team that you'd really build around him. I think the only good thing that he does is generates blue because his red is kind of cheap. So let's think about that. I don't know. I don't know if he'll survive. He'll survive. The problem is, you just don't really want him to be using red if you need to generate blue or something. There's just a lot of other characters that kind of do it a little bit better. Um, I guess we'll get creative. Who needs blue to do something awesome? Let's go Beast. Beast uses a lot of blue. And I would pretty much totally ignore green. Who, who creates red? Alright, well let's do Mark 40. I'm just using this team for... I don't know. Maybe they kind of work together. What I would recommend is just don't use Ragnarok in your team. There's really no team that you should use Ragnarok in. The only reason you should use Ragnarok is pretty much just to have Ragnarok as a character in your collection. So whenever Ragnarok does pop up in a PvE, you just have access to that, to that node. But if for some reason you find yourself using Ragnarok, you're, you're probably not doing it right. Alright, so we'll go ahead and use Thunderclap, which puts out a little bit of damage, and creates a bunch of blue tiles. So uh, he would be okay with uh, the three-star Rocket and Groot, because Rocket and Groot needs blue to pump out the I Got a Plan, which is pretty okay. And the three-star Rocket and Groot doesn't need red, which is a bonus. Basically, if you do find yourself using Ragnarok, you probably just want to put him on some kind of team where you have someone who's good who just needs blue, and for some reason you need to use Ragnarok. I have to say that if the idea for Ragnarok was to create a much more inferior version of Thor, then they did a really good job with it. But he's just pretty he's pretty bad. Alright, he's stunned. What do we got? So yeah, just keep doing Thunderclap, keep popping out those blue tiles. I'm actually going to skip this one, so we can get that yellow. So just FYI, whenever you're fighting Thing, in a party, you want to take Thing on first. Because if you don't, if you fire off some power against one of his allies, he's going to use his yellow on you, which is... He throws out, like, four really strong protectiles. And that could make the fight a lot more difficult. However, if you have Loki in your party and you have a bunch of black, you can steal those protect tiles and turn them into strike tiles and just really whoop on the uh, opposing team. So that's actually a strategy that I've used quite frequently in this one particular fight, or basically any fight with 
dropping. Ouch. And here they go with like this huge chain. Alright, I'm not gonna use Ragnarok's blue. It'll give him a burst of health. I might as well just use it. Uh, we'll skip godlike power. Let's keep pumping out that blue. Alright, we'll use the lightning rod just to see what it looks like. But yeah, I mean... Again, if you have characters that can do true heal versus burst heal, you always take the true heal. Alright, let's take out the Punisher. You always keep an eye out on Punisher as well. You want to make sure that he's never going to be able to target a character who has less than like 40% health with Retribution, because otherwise he's just going to kill you. Get rid of the Molotov cocktail tile. Oh, sweet. Did I kill him? Nope. If we get enough for godlike power, I'll do it just to show off what it looks like. But again, if you're going to look for some kind of area of effect attack with a 3 star, just the regular Thor is a lot better. And I think uh, the AP cost is the same or cheaper, I'm not quite sure. So. For everybody who is kind of starting out, getting into the three phase, whatever, if you are tight on roster spots, if you are looking for a character to get rid of, I would get rid of Ragnarok, like one of the first, just because there's pretty much not really any party that you can put him in where he's going to make a good difference. Alright. Go ahead and hurt around guys because that's what Ragnarok does. And the one column, like tile shuffle, it's like, meh. You, again, you could just do a lot better with other players. In fact, I would say even if you well, no, I guess if you have roster spots, then it's okay to keep him, but he should literally be one of the first characters you decide to get rid of if you are trying to fit other people onto your roster. you need for radar sense 10 I'm not quite sure what the point of Ragnarok is too so he's not a quick hitter because his green takes 14 yet his red costs 6 so he's just a really weird build So it's been kind of like forever since D3GO did any character updates, and if they actually really wanted to update a character, Ragnarok would be a fantastic one to do.
let's see. Here, I guess we can just keep doing this and getting a ton of green. And now wait, he's just gonna turn them into charge tiles. He doesn't speed up a fight, he just doesn't have the strength to do it. So... Yeah, I, I, I can't think of a reason to have him on the team. If anybody out there can think of a reason to put Ragnarok on the team, or some kind of unique benefit that he contributes that actually makes him valuable, please leave that in the comments because it's just definitely not apparent to me. And I'm not saying that I know and that I'm right, I'm just saying that I don't know. So if there's something really cool about Ragnarok that I'm totally missing, let me know. But my perception has been that he's just about what the worst three-star character. Like, Sentry's way better. Alright, so that is Ragnarok. He actually probably would be a lot better with Rocket and Groot with uh, I Got a Plan because you could actually get some better damage out of his red attack with a whole bunch of strong strike tiles on the board. So let's go ahead and dump him. Goodbye, Ragnarok. And again, if there is anybody out there who knows of some kind of really cool, unique thing that I am missing with Ragnarok, please let me know. So, anyways, I uh, hope you found that interesting and entertaining. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.